Welcome to the May Spotlight on Insurance and Property Casualty Coverage, brought to you by ProducersWeb.com. I'm Paul Wilson, and in this broadcast, we'll cover some of this topic's biggest trends and most insightful research. This Spotlight on Insurance and PNC is sponsored by InsuranceLeads.com. Expect the highest quality insurance leads and high closing ratios. To find out more information, please visit InsuranceLeads.com. The National Association of Mutual Insurance Companies, NAMIC, recently urged members of the Senate Finance Committee to focus efforts on recovering funds paid out through the Troubled Asset Relief Program on those companies that received taxpayer money during the crisis. The NAMIC said that the property and casualty insurance industry is extremely competitive, well capitalized, and does not pose a systemic risk to the U.S. economy. During the crisis, NAMIC opposed the use of federal money to bail out property casualty insurers and not one of NAMIC's 1,400 members received money through the TARP program. According to Dylan Jones, NAMIC Federal Affairs Director, quote, by its name alone, the financial crisis responsibility fee implies that it should be paid by those responsible for the crisis. Asking companies who played no role in creating the crisis and who neither sought nor received any taxpayer dollars from TARP to pay for the operational or regulatory failures of banks and other non-insurance institutions is inequitable and would create competitive distortions, unquote. While insurers have strengthened their capital positions, there are still concerns with underwriting profitability and soft pricing, according to a recent report from Willis Group Holdings PLC titled Marketplace Realities and Risk Management Solutions. So far in 2010, improvements in financial markets have bolstered the insurance industry's capital position, but the economy remains inconsistent, while underwriting profitability continues to worsen. Meanwhile, a combination of safer investment strategies and better risk assessment could translate into an extended soft market. According to the report, quote, in 2008 and 2009, many general insurers undertook de-risking exercises on their investment portfolios, reducing exposure to equities, alternative investments, and other more volatile assets that combined with reduced dividend income and reduced interest rates on risk-free assets are likely to cut investment income, thereby increasing pressure on underwriting results in order to meet the cost of capital, unquote. In addition, Willis notes that buyers could benefit from competition as premium rates decline across several business classes. Auto insurers are taking a closer look at hospital bills prior to payment as the cost of auto injury claims continues to skyrocket, according to a new study from the Insurance Research Council, or IRC. The study, Hospital Cost Shifting and Auto Injury Insurance Claims, finds that low reimbursements from public health care insurance programs such as Medicare and Medicaid are forcing auto insurers to take a closer look at bills. According to IRC estimates, bodily injury liability claims in 38 tort and add-on states led to cost shifting in 2007, resulting in $1.2 billion in excess hospital charges, with the full impact of hospital costs shifting likely much greater. According to Elizabeth Sprinkle, SVP of the IRC, quote, the conventional wisdom is that hospitals aggressively seek to shift costs from public insurance programs to private payers such as auto insurance companies. With this study, we now have information on the magnitude of cost shifting and a better understanding of the need for supportive state laws and effective tools that will enable auto insurers to pay hospitals appro appropriate, appropriately and help control auto injury claim costs." Unquote. The report noted that the potential effects of health care reform on cost shifting is currently unknown but added that policymakers could consider options to address current and future cost shifting by hospitals. The IRC found that doing so would help control the cost of hospital treatment for auto injury claimants, as well as administrative costs incurred by insurance companies when reviewing medical bills for hospitals and physicians. I'm Paul Wilson, and thanks for watching the Spotlight on Insurance and PNC. To see more video spotlights on your favorite products and practices, find them on ProducersWeb.com and browse by topic.